Hey, what is up everybody? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope everybody stay at home and safe. And in this video, I'm going to teach you three ways you can screen mirror your iPhone to a TCL TV. It's really simple, just so let's get right into it. And the first things you want to do, the first thing you want to do is just go to the uh, settings of your iPhone and make sure your iPhone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your TV is going to be connected to. I'll show you the TV in a second. But it's going to be same TV. I'm pretty sure the TS TCL makes a lot of smart TVs, but it all depends on the uh, firmware. So I'll show you in a bit. So just make sure your iPhone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your TV is going to be connected to. So I've make sure that I made sure that my iPhone is connected to the same TV network. But before we jump to the TV, I want to, I want you to download an app called iMedia Share. This is method number one. I'll show you all the rest of the methods along the video. But it's a really simple app, free app, of course. Just download it. It'll take about 10 seconds, depending on how fast your internet connection is. Okay, so this is method number one. Really simple, really easy. On your TCL TV, just press home, and it will bring you to this screen. There, you can find a lot of applications. You can find a lot of TV shows. You can play games. You can you can literally do anything on this screen. Uh, it's, this is not a HDMI connected to or anything. This is not something. This is not something connected to. Okay, this, this comes with the TV. At least at least this is what my TV looks like. Uh, it might might look different for you for if you're using a different TCL model this is more this is probably the latest model of the TCL TV this is an Android model so I want you to find settings it should be in the top right corner now once you once you're in the in the settings you might be doing this for the first time so I want you to do I've done this before but I'll show you again click on the network settings and make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on just like an Android phone or even I, iPhone it's really simple just toggle the Wi-Fi and it will show you all the all the Wi-Fi is nearby now make sure your Wi-Fi is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as you connected your iPhone to. Really simple, right? And that's that's it. You don't have to do anything else. Now on your TV, I want you to find Google Play Store. I'm gonna tell you exactly how to. Then I'll show you how to do it. Okay, just find the Google Play Store and find an app called AirScreen. Really simple. I'll show you how to do it. If you can't find the Play Store, it should be in the app section or somewhere hidden under the uh, App Store. This is the uh, Google Play Store, right? it got games your applications it got it got tons of it okay so go to the search section and uh, find air screen it's really a free application for your tv and you can go through all the applications if you want you got a lot of games in there you got a lot of uh, video video applications even youtube a lot of applications in there really so this is just like a uh, google play store really simple right now i want you to go to the search section and type air screen the free app should be available for your uh, for your TV, and there you go. Click download. It will take about ten to fifteen seconds. How uh, depending on how fast your internet connection is. So once the download is complete, it'll take a few seconds to install, but don't worry about it. It's perfectly normal. Also, one more thing: when you're downloading apps, just make sure the app is verified by the Play Store. Like it's it has to play protective. Okay, it's really simple and easy. Now, once the application is downloaded, you can open open the application right from the uh, download section, right from the app store, or you can go to the uh, main menu as I shared before. So I've done this before. I want you to just click on Start Now, and you'll see the screen. Just click Start, and uh, it will pop up, and then nothing happens. Literally, no, nothing gonna happen. So now, what you want to do is just bring pop it, pop out your iPhone, and. Uh, Oh, don't click on anything else, by the way. I just uh, kind of a misclick on the uh, start button. So don't click on anything else, okay? Okay, so this is the screen you can see at the background. Now, I want you to pop the iMedia Share, open the iMedia Share application. You see these boxes. Uh, and uh, I'm not going to show you all the albums due to, due to personal reasons, of course. But I want you to click on camera and go to the album you like, okay? So, for example, this is like cat album. So when you open any picture, click on any picture, it will automatic, automatically screen mirror your picture to your TV. Now, how do I do that? If you're running multiple TVs in the background, it's really simple. Just click on that uh, top right icon on the top right. And uh, just select your TV. I've got multiple devices running in the background. I've got Samsung TV and my iPhone and uh, an iOS device and, and you know you might have multiple TVs but you can't you can't be sure so every, any, whenever you want to uh, screen mirror any uh, picture any video you, you can even browse video, uh, Facebook if you want to so it's really simple and that's it that's number method, method number one I'll show you the method number two it's really simple too now what you want to do is just uh, go to the uh, Go to the uh, App Store, uh, Google Play Store, just like before, and type a Power Mirror. It's a free application, and I have a complete video, completely uh, separate video on this topic. But if you wanna, 
if you want to watch the full video just click on the card it should be uh, available in a second but just to make sure that it's available in this video as well I'm gonna do it all over again okay so type in a power mirror it's a free application it should be available for your TV and uh, it takes about 10 seconds to download it I've done it I've done it before so in this in my case it's gonna show me that's downloaded and I can open it through the uh, App Store there you go it's the your first app in the uh, screen and there you go it actually uh, shows me that it's, uh, it's already downloaded so every, uh, once I click on it I, uh, I can open it and I can also install it if I want to so what you want to do is just open the uh, open the application and it should be in the app section okay so if you can't find it just click on the plus icon at the end of the day, uh, end of the app section and it should be uh, that should prompt you the uh, the application so once the application is uh, once the application is running it's really simple what you want to do is uh, go to the scan to connect section and just click on the barcode it's uh, it's really simple it's, what you want to do is pop and that uh, what you want to do is download an app called a Mirror on your iPhone it's a free app okay so I have a full video dedicated to this topic you can watch it but I want you to click on the search icon and won't show you anything but when you uh, when you're done as a scanning you just click on the barcode option and we'll show you some instructions so what you want to do is if you're using iPhone 10 or above just, uh, swipe down from the top to get the control section okay so uh, it's, it's a, it might be different for the uh, different iPhones of course but click on the screen mirror and show you that there is an Apple TV running in the background so it's our TSL TV there you, there you go just one click on it and it will automatically connect your iPhone to your TV pretty simple right and there you go that's method number two it will uh, this uh, method will literally mirror your iPhone to your TV so you can like it won't have more of a privacy thing it'll just like the uh, not like the iMedia share because iMedia share lets you choose what uh what kind of a stuff what kind of a stuff you want to be uh you want to be one it to be mirrored okay but it's gonna be different so it's it's more good it's better for if you don't play games maybe watching a video or something so well that's an, method number two now on to the method number three it's really easy but this method is more of a challenge I think a lot for a lot of people because it takes a, a bit for the uh it takes a bit to actually you know type and stuff like that so you don't have to do uh, actually you don't have you have to do one thing just go to the Apple Play Store and download any browser you like in this case I'm gonna be using Puffin if I'm not wrong I think it's called Puffin but you can you can download any other uh, browser you like and there's all Google Google Chrome as well it should be in the uh, should be in the app section but I think I've uh, kind of installed it before or maybe someone else did but in this case I'm gonna download a browser it should be uh, you can download any browser you like okay but in my case I'm gonna go with the puffin it's really simple and you can download literally any browser I'm saying it again and again because you can okay if you're using Chrome you can also use Chrome you can, if you're using a different browser on your TV you can do that too and if you're using the default browser on your TV you can also do that do that too so you don't have to download any uh, special browser for that okay so in this case I'm gonna do go with the puffin TV it's a, a browser it's a pretty simple now wait for it to download will take few seconds and there you go it will start downloading now it depends on how fast your internet connection is so one should be done in a few seconds once the install uh, once the download is done it will take few to 10 to second a few to set few about two to five seconds two to ten seconds to install the application because it's a TV you can't be you know you can't ask you can't you can't be asking a lot for it a lot of it because it doesn't have any uh, you know much of a RAM in there so but wait for it to install and you can open the uh, browser using uh, the same screen or you can just go back to the uh, home menu but I'm gonna open up from the same screen so there you go it's a puffin browser it should be uh, should be really easy just click on it and it will automatically show you what's what you want to do so you don't have to do anything else just pause at this moment okay and just uh, open your iPhone now on your iPhone, download an application called Zender. Now it's a, it's a free application; it should be available in your uh, Play Store. And all these applications that I'm talking about is gonna be uh, linked, link for them in the description box below, so you don't have to worry about anything. Okay? So download an application called Zender. It's uh, it's really simple. It's easy. Well, due due to a lot of photos on my iPhone, I'm not cannot show you the main screen but once you get the main screen just click on the me icon at the bottom of your iPhone it should take you to this screen now click to connect to PC okay really simple right just click to connect PC and the, 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 it'll show you this screen 
It's pretty simple. It's got a website in there and it's a IP address. So what you what you want to do is just to type that address on your uh, TV browser. It's web.zender.com. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward this video because I cannot like, you know, you can't just wait and uh, see me watch me typing. So I'm gonna just for fast forward this video clip right here. I'm gonna type web.zender.com. So once you do that, just go to the video, uh, just go to the website and I'll show you a barcode. That's pretty simple, right? Now on your screen, on your iPhone, you see you're gonna see a button called scan. So what you wanna do is uh, scan, click on scan, it will pop the camera, and there you go. It won't even take a second to connect the server. It's gonna be really fast. It's really fast, okay? So there you go. You can see a lot of pictures on my iPhone. Of course, there are a lot of private pictures in there too. So I might have to blur something out, so you don't have to. Don't wanna worry about it. Don't freak out, okay? It's really simple. Now on your on your TV, it's gonna show you quite a lot of options. So I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you exactly what options mean and how you can uh, use it for your uh, goods, okay? So on your TV, you can see the space you your iPhone has, the iPhone that you connected to, and uh, it's gonna sh show you the iPhone name, uh, space. You can click on for the documents, music, videos, and uh, pictures. In this case, uh, I'm gonna show you pictures. You can do anything in like, okay? But for private reasons, I have to blur something out in the corner. Like, it is a meme, but I really it's, I don't want you to see it, okay? So once you click on the uh, Im image uh, gallery, it will take a few seconds to load depending on the connection. There you go. So you can see all the pictures on uh, on my iPhone. I had to delete some, but you can use the mouse freely or you can also use a feature inside Zender. So I'll show you in a minute, but you can also use a mouse. See, there you go. You can see the uh, icon to download the picture. You can download the picture or you can just view the picture by clicking at the uh, full screen mode. There you go. Ah, uh, that's so cute. But yeah, there you go. Now, if you wanna, if you wanna have more, oh, that's my, this, that's my bike, by the way. Uh, it's Yamaha R6. Anyways, I think I'm pretty sure a lot of people know what 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 kind of bike it is. But well, just open a picture on your iPhone, and then you you can see uh, an icon at the bottom of your iPhone. It's gonna it's gonna make sure it's gonna be mirrored to your phone, uh, to your TV, so you don't have to use your uh, mouse or remote control every time you do. Okay, it's really easy. There you go. That's pretty much it, and uh, uh, it's pretty simple, right? If you have any questions, type in the chat or uh, hit me on uh, Instagram or Twitter or Facebook if you like. If you like, and uh, that's pretty much it. Leave a like. This video kind of helped you out, and uh, more videos coming soon. Thank you for watching again, and stay safe, everybody. It's pretty hot out there. Pretty hard out there. I was gonna hit hard, then I said hot. Anyways, there you can see the icon at the bottom. So every time you click on it, it will merge the uh, photo to your TV. But that's pretty much it for me.